Hey everybody, welcome back. Haven't done a video for a while because I wasn't feeling too well in myself, but I'm back doing videos now and today I'm back with an exciting video and I'm doing an unboxing again. Just cover my dress from Look and a Brew. So I did an unboxing of this a while ago when I'm with the videos and I'm excited to see what's in. So I'm gonna open this up now and show you what books in here and what tea's in here. So again, I'll open it this way. So you see first what's in the box, if I can actually get the box open tires, which is proving to be a bit of a struggle today. Okay, so again, some white tissue paper. What's in here? Ooh, okay, I have the tea. I'll tell you about tea first. Okay, the tea is as. The tea this month is a lovely rubis, rubis from the guys at Leaves of the World. So, ooh, okay. South African Sunset Organic Rubis Tea, I think that says. And what's got in it? It's got organic. Ooh, watch this tea infuse into a colourful blend of sunset magic as you journey into white highlands. Organic Rubis Sea. Buckthorn, quince pieces, natural mango flavouring and natural or natural orange flavouring, so it's more like a fruit tea. Last time it was like a, a cinnamon tea and it was really, really nice, like a cinnamon and ginger tea. But yeah, this is more like a fruit tea. And as always, you get a pack of 12 biodegradable leaf bags, which are really, really cool. You can reuse these. <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry. I got that. Okay, right. And now, time for the book. Oh, always comes in really nice packaging, like some like tissue paper with the logo on. So, let's open this up and have a look. And they're always hardback as well. Always hardback books. New books. In very good condition. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this cover. So, it's by John McGee. And the book is called White Highlands. So it always comes with this little information sheet to tell you about the book and what it is for the month. So I'll read out what the book's about. It says, This month's novel is a compelling thriller set in Africa during the 1950s and the present day. It cleverly combines a history that needs to be told with a gripping storyline. Ooh. Oh, this sounds really good, actually. So... It's set in Kenya in 1952. It's about a colony on the edge. And the our protagonist, I'm assuming, is called Johnny Seymour. He's seen too much war and seeks solace photographing East African wildlife. Oh, so I think basically it's going to be about like hunting and killing animals, that kind of thing. And this person who's the main character, who's Johnny Seymour, is probably going to sort it out and rectify all this and stop all the things from happening. And they're probably going to be at war with the authorities of Africa and all that kind of thing. This sounds really interesting. That cover is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful colour. Really, really nice. Again, like I said, it's hardback and it's in great condition. It's new. It's lovely. You don't get to choose what book you have with these. It's a random book. I bought a single box last time to see what it was like and I loved it. So I committed to a three-month subscription. So I've got another two books left for this one. And again, I will unbox them new, I think. But I'm very impressed with these. I am. And the tea last time was absolutely I got last time which was black water lilies by Mikel Busey which was like a murder mystery kind of thing set in a small town which we'll be getting to read too soon because of it of, it's like October's coming up perfect time for me to read these kind of books and I think I'll be reading this soon as well again I can't get over how beautiful this cover is yet but I do highly recommend checking out Book in a Brew I'll be leaving the email address in the description box like the browser address for you to go and check them out and have a look I do recommend you check them out you still got about 20 days to or to order next month's box there's plenty of time to order next month's box you can just order one you don't have to commit to a subscription or anything like you can just buy one off and see what it's like but yeah really really happy with this and can't wait to try this tea I also have another package to show you that I purchased something for myself off of Amazon, so I'll share it with you and show you what it is. So, what's actually in here? Oh, okay. Two things. I ordered. I started reading a series about a month ago 
and I'm reading the second book of it now. And the series was Frostbud by Ellie Blake. And I love that. So I started reading Fireblood. I'm not very far into Fireblood, but I love it. So I had to buy the sequel, which is Nightblood. Was, oh, oh, the fucking paperback. I love these. I'm sure this version is bigger than the other books. Hang on. One second. I will show you. This is Fireblood. Yeah, it's a bit bigger. This is Fireblood. This is Nightblood. Why? Why? Why does this happen? Why? I'm not complaining too much because it's quite cheap actually. For the size it is, this is quite cheap. But yeah, this floppy paperback. Oh, this makes me so happy. These covers are absolutely beautiful. Look at the Fireblood. Oh, Frostblood's beautiful. It's like a, obviously like a rose, which is like encased in ice. It's beautiful. Can't wait to get to this. Really, really enjoy reading Fireblood. Really good. Not normally big on fantasy, but I really enjoy reading these. And this, you take this out of the pocket. One of my friends on Facebook gave me the idea. Thought about getting one before, but I changed my mind. She got one. So I thought I would get one. And it's this book wallet. This medium sized book wallet with sloths on. I adore sloths. So I had to get one. Medium sized, so it should fit most of books in. Just check if it fits this one. So obviously this is not, this is a fairly big paperback, but I think it should fit it. Yep, fits my book in, no problem to keep it protected when I put my books in my bag because I do carry my book everywhere with me. Especially if me and Leah are going to be on the train commuting and stuff, I take my book. But yeah, fits this perfectly. Just over £10, so bargain but yeah you can see this is a fairly big paperback and if it's in the wallet no problem so i'm really really pleased with that love this but yeah my friend rebecca she got one with clouds on she's gonna get this one but she changed her mind and she got one with clouds on but it's in this one and there was no thought needed i needed to get this one absolutely love sloths they're one of my favorite animals so yeah, like I said guys, I know I haven't done a video for a while because I've been feeling too well but I'm back to doing it now. I hope you did enjoy this video. I'll be waiting for this box to arrive to do this video because I love doing this but I was a little bit short on video ideas. So I was really happy that this arrived today. I didn't expect this book box to arrive today. There was a little bit of a delay due to the weather. It was supposed to be here last week. It was a little bit of delay, but I got an email straight away them telling me that there was a delay and they apologised for the inconvenience and all that kind of thing. If there was ever any problems, they were really good at letting you know. But I didn't expect it to be today. I went downstairs and it was just there waiting for me. So I was like, it was like Christmas. So yeah, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And I'll hopefully see you very, very soon with another one. Bye.